the record for Leicester. Exactly, and the edging really close to the round of 16 in group. Okay, and we have all the results. Let's just go what Porto 1 0 over uh, Club Brugge and 1 1 between Juventus and Leon. Uh, Gonzalo Guain's goal wasn't enough there. And Sevilla look like they don't want to play in the Europa League this time. 4 0 over Dynamo Zagreb. The uh, they're still on top of that group, and it looks like they will be going into the round of 16. Okay, we'll go for a break now. We'll come back. We're talking about looking at the papers and so also more on the UEFA Champions League. If we <clears throat> see the the stat, I think was 50, 50 you know, in the chance that we create and, and, and Leverkusen. I think we create more, but no enough. I think no enough. But I am, agree. We have the possession, but we need to create more and, and, and try to score. If you're not scoring football, it's difficult to, to win. And today, no excuse. After two games in, on Wembley, Monaco, Leverkusen, we were poor. They were clinical. Clinical in front of the goal, we aren't, but it's for that uh, we lose the game. Uh, no, nothing wrong. It's, we cannot blame again Wembley. <laughs> Wembley for me was fantastic. I enjoy a lot to come, to come here. But uh, we need to show more. We were poor again. We need to find an uh, answer in ourselves. It's not only about Wembley, bigger... Uh, 85,000 fans we need to be critical with our performance and the problem we were the problem, no Wembley that is very clear and we are very disappointed, yes, because we cannot show the, our quality or the quality that we show maybe in the last, in the last month, and that is, uh, that is the problem, no, no Wembley please stop to, to blame again Wembley it's not the problem Wembley we need to, now yes, we must win if not, forget Champions League that is that is the the truth. Now we must win on Monaco, and if we we win, we must win against Cesica. That is the truth. And now, or oh, we will win both both game. If not, bye bye Champions League. Yeah, one word from you before we go to the papers concerning Tottenham. I mean, no chance at all. Europa League? Uh, maybe that'll be, uh, th that might uh, be a consolation for them. But I'm sure they still have a chance to qualify. You win yeah. your next two games and then hopefully the other results from the remaining fixtures uh, will go in your favour. And another interesting part about Champions League this season is some big teams are currently seated second. If it ends that way, that we're braced up for uh, some exciting second <laughs> round of 16 clashes. Mm. And I'm sure one particular club in London doesn't want to meet a uh, big size like PSG, Bayern or Real Madrid in the second round. Those ones are they're just scoring for fun. Because Real Madrid, <laughs> the first time they actually <laughs> conceded three goals on the Zinedine Zidane. And Ligia was so hard to ensure that. Okay, we we'll just look at the papers now, uh, starting with uh, Complete Sports. And this one was all about... That's the big story. Kali came out of Nigerian squad. I mean, he's in. How is this going to affect the team? Uh, well, uh, it's, it's good. it might alter the team's uh, chemistry a bit because you've uh, lately in the game against Tanzania and Zambia, it has been Kali Keme and the back line. Uh, probably the only exclusion we saw was Leon Balogu who picked up a knock in the last game. He's back in this one and then there won't be a Kali Keme. But Daniel Akpei has been in the mix, you know, with the national team for a while. So I don't think it should be a problem for him settling in. Um, with the Super Eagles. He's, he's been doing well for Chippa United. I actually follow his games, you know, closely. And he's very fit, and I'm sure he can go all out, you know, to, to, uh, to keep that number one spot, especially for that game against um, Algeria. Yes, you have Nikichi Kwezenwa. I wouldn't give a daily Alan Paso the chance, but between an Izenwa, who's also backed the experience on the home front, and of course, going on uh, the foreign tour to Spain, uh, garnering one or two experiences, plus the Daniel Akbe who plays in South Africa, we shouldn't have goalkeeping problems, really. So you're saying, I mean, because the another uh, headline on the complete sports says Ikesh uh, Ikesh is saying that uh, Eagles will miss Ikeme, so we're not going to miss him. No, we don't miss goalkeepers. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that. yeah, basically, you're saying. Uh, uh, 
Akpe is a very capable replacement. Definitely, okay. definitely. He was part of the team to Brazil. So, yeah. I mean, he was part of the Spikers team before the Brazil tournament. That's talking about the Olympics. Yeah, he mm -hmm. played, He's been in the mix. He played against Egypt, if you remember. Definitely. Yeah, so and he did pretty experience. well as well. So. Yeah. He's been in the mix. Okay. So it shouldn't, shouldn't, it shouldn't be a problem, really. Okay. okay. So, so yeah, sporting life, and this is okay. Yeah, still on the uh, build up to the Nigeria uh, versus um, Algeria um, World Cup qualifier. Algeria's manager boasts as George Lakins. He says we will fight Super Eagles 200%. Expects that Nigeria's um, massive attacking onslaught says Algerians won't be. Okay, won't respect uh, Nigeria's stars. I mean, Nigeria versus Algeria, on paper, who has the better team, I mean, in terms of individual players? They released the squad a couple of days ago, and it, it is safe to say it looks a bit scary. A bit scary, 18 foreign base players. Of course, for George Likens, uh, that will be his first yeah. match in charge of Algeria. Mm -hmm. And then um, it's expected that he comes out to make statements like this. But then again, I'm telling you guys, on the 12th of November, um, the, the bond in the team, yeah. you know, uh, in, uh, in talk, looking at both sides now, will actually be exhibited on the field of play, and probably the ones with the better bonding will get to uh, nick the maximum three points. We've got pace on our side. We've got young players. They also have their own, you know, individual stars. But I think the team that plays uh, more united on the day will carry the day. Okay, now just a rider to that one. Spotting Stone, the final one coming from me. Conte says Moses is fantastic. Uh, as the guy is saying, Alex Wobi is a playmaker. We've got these two guys in the Super Eagles squad. How much impact will they have on the team? They will definitely make impact. Uh, these are young boys that can hold their own anytime they get the chance to play for their club side. Uh, they can run at defenders, take their chances. I mean, they can even uh, provide assists for, for the big boys up front, in court. So I don't think we should have a problem. So far, we have them very fit, okay. except they pick up injuries. That, okay. that, that should be uh, the scary part. But buying any injuries, uh, we should be able to do well. One more before we go. Um, on Sports and Life, it says Mario asked, you know, gets a one-match band fine, fifty thousand uh, pounds. Um, works to me, you're very familiar with this um, kind of situation. So <laughs> Alex Ferguson used to rock, you know, all them fines and punishments all during his time. Well, it's Mario, so he's expected. I don't think this will make him stop. Yeah. Uh, another issue might yeah. just pop up later. Yeah, but my point is, um, Sir Alex used to rack up them fines as well too. It, it's no, it's normal with, with it's managers. It's I mean, deal, right? if you let your emotions get the better part of you, mm. you get um, you, you find yourself in such situations. So it's normal. <laughs> okay, fifty-eight thousand. You know, yeah, so it's, 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 it's thinking about money. money. That's huge. Okay, <laughs> no, 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 thank you to me for coming on the program. Many thanks. <laughs> thank you for watching. I'm Cecilia Amogwe. Many thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm tired for long.